Jesus, child of God, I welcome you all to our long shall be barren service. Wonderful Jesus. Child of God, because you're online today, every root of barrenness operating in any aspect of your life, by the power of the Holy Spirit, it is destroyed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. What a privilege for you to be a partaker of our first non shall be barren service in this ministry. The Lord was speaking to me, say, Daughter, I gave you, I gave my children, I gave every of my children the word of lesson. The same way I released it upon every other creature that I made and every other creature produced. Why is it that some of you people, some of my children are not productive? There is a need to wage war against everything at all that is stopping productivity in the life of my children. And that is why this service was instituted to fight anything at all that is working against your productivity. And I believe God standing upon his wall over this service, over this Saturday prayer meeting, I believe this God that that purpose of which I bought this meeting, I believe it's going to bring it to pass in our lives. And he's going to perfect his word unto us in Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, where he commanded every woman he created to be fruitful. Is going to cause every one of us to begin to bring forth fruit. It's going to cause every one of us to begin to multiply. It's going to cause every one of us to begin to subdue everything at all that is subduing us all this year. It's going to cause every one of us to begin to have dominion, to begin to take charge in areas where we ought to have taken charge before that by the power of the Spirit in the name of of Jesus Christ. Please, if, if you're online right now, begin to share the broadcast, invite somebody, tell them to join us in this not shall be barren service. As they join us, the Lord Himself is going to terminate every root of barrenness in their lives. He's going to destroy everything at all that is bringing into existence barrenness or fruitfulness or productivity in any aspect of their lives. In the name of of Jesus Christ. You know, most of the times when we talk about barrenness, when people hear the word barrenness, they tend to, to think that it's all about, oh, a woman that is not able to conceive or is not able to give birth to her own children. Oh, wow, this woman is a woman. Then they are involved. Because if you're not producing any fruits in your flesh, you are barren. For barrenness is a compound word. It's not, it's not only a, a, a word for people that are not producing in their flesh alone. Some of you under the sound of my voice, your lineage is barren. You know that. They are financially barren. Some of you under the sound of my voice, your businesses you started in it are from that same level of finance to another. There is a spirit of barrenness hovering around that business that needs to be sent back. Some of you, oh, anything you lay your hands upon to in this barrenness, your city is barren. You know, I read something in Second King chapter 2, verses 19, where the people, the people of the land of Jericho, they went to Elisha and said, Oh, our father, you see, as you can see, this city is pleasant, it's well situated, but the water is bitter and the, 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 the land is not productive, the land is the land is buried. No matter your money, no matter your expertise, no matter your professionalism, if the land where you are located is buried, child of God, you will end up wasting resources, you will end up wasting anything you put in. The setting a place for a family that is buried. I don't know how the barrenness came, but in the case of the people of Jericho, their barrenness came as a result of a cause released by Joshua. Remember, if you go back to say what I'm saying, Joshua, the one that took over from the hand of Moses when Moses died, the one that led the children of Israel to the promised land, he laid a curse on the city of Jericho. And from that day, from that year, to the present time, to the season when Elisha came into existence, the land was barren. Even though it's well situated, let me tell you, child of God, the business is not.
producing fruit, no. And your business is not producing fruit, not because it's not well situated. Some of you, your business is well situated. In fact, it's one of the high best selling business in the society. Some of you, young ladies, oh, everything you do is barren. Some of you men, everything you do, you just not produce result. It might be there is a cost of in your family. That no child born into that family will ever produce any result. There might be a cost of your lineage. There might be a cost of your village. There might even be a cost of your, your household. It can be a legal cost. It can be an illegal cause. It can be an enchantment. It can be an incantation. To the child of God and come with the word of God for you. Anything at all that is called barrenness in your life. I am here to pray with you as your prayer partner. I don't know the aspect of your life you are experiencing of productiveness. I don't know the aspect of your life that you are not seeing any kind of fruit of any sort. The Lord has sent me your way to pray with you today. I might not be spending much time, but a few prayers I am going to pray with you. According to the word of God, it says that the prayer of a righteous man abundant much. The few prayers you are going to be praying to the child of God is going to bring forth your desired testimony. It's going to change things around you. It's going to change things around that your business. It's going to cause that your body that has refused to bring forth seed, that has refused to reproduce. Who have personality like you? The Lord is going to cause that way. I came out to know what the doctors have told you. I am not interested in their reports or the reports of those scam machines or the reports of any of the gadgets they use to change people's body. They are machines that can make mistakes. But I'm here to give you the report of the Lord. I'm here to let you know that the Lord made it clear to us in Exodus chapter 23. Verses 25 26. The Bible says that when we serve the Lord, He will bless our bread and our water. He will take sickness away from us. And we are going to say that none of us shall ever ask our yoke, nor be mine. Are you a child of God? The only person that is permitted to remain barren all her life, all his life, is that person that is not serving the Lord. But child of God, if you have been serving the Lord in truth and in spirit, if you have been serving the Lord in faithfulness, I am still experiencing of productivity. We are here today to wage war against every spirit behind that of productiveness in your life. Every human spirit, every enchantment, every incantation, every divination, whatsoever the enemy has done that is bringing about untruthfulness in any aspect of your life. That is what I am here to agree with you today upon. The Bible says that you two of us shall agree upon touching anything here of it shall be done by our Father in heaven. Child of God, before we go into prayers today, as the word of God has made it clear to us that it is only when we serve the Lord that we will enjoy His benefits. Are you a child of God? Are you a child of God? Are you serving the Lord in truth and spirit? Or you are once born again, something happened you back with it. The Lord wants you back. He wants to bring you bring, bring forth your fruits that the enemy has hijacked. He wants to restore you back to your place in destiny. Are you ready to receive back from the devil what he has taken from you? You can't be fighting the enemy when you are already in his camp. When you are one of his scanties, it's not possible. It's only when your obedience is fulfilled that's when you can be able to join disobedience of any sort. Child of God, are you born again? If you are not born again, honor the sound of my voice. This is the time you have to surrender back to God. Or if you are once born again, something happened to you The Lord wants you back. He wants to restore back your productiveness. He wants to cause you to begin to yield fruit. He wants to cause your land to begin to bring forth fruit for you. You know, the Bible was speaking. He said that there is a good in every land. There is a good in every land. But the problem we have is that when the enemy releases a word, a word of damnation, a word of judgment, a word of cause upon any land, he starts he start bringing forth the wrong fruits. Are you born again? This is the time you have. I want to, wherever you are, under the sound of my voice to open your mouth. I'm here to say, Father, I am sorry for any way I have sinned against you. Anything at all the devil is using as a legal ground. 
to stick in me at the place of unproductiveness. And it's in the devil is using, oh Lord, to keep my marriage without a child. And it's in the enemy is using, oh Lord, to keep my business without any fruit, without customers. And it's in the devil is using, oh Lord, to keep my ministry without fruit. Oh Lord, my father is in my own sin. Is it a siege of my parents? Is it a cause that was laid upon my lineage? Is it a cause that is laid upon this land? Is it a cause that is laid by anyone that was fated in the past? Jehovah, today I've come to ask for this. Elohim, I've come to ask for this. The prince of so peace, I've come to ask for this. Lord, have mercy upon me. Forgive me, my father. I shake from the death, forgive me today. If you are not born again, begin to surrender your life to Jesus. I say, Lord, I give you my life, I give you my time, I give you my energy, I give you my all in all today. Come and be in control. Come and be the Lord of my life. I confess you today that you died and resurrected for my sins. Today I decree I am born again. Jesus. Come and deliver me, oh Lord, from this thing called of barrenness, from this thing called of productiveness. Everything at the roots of unproductiveness in my life. Jesus Christ, arise in your power right now and destroy them. Arise in your might, my Father, and destroy them. Arise in your authority right now. Look at the roots of this barrenness. Look at the roots of unfruitfulness. Look at the roots of unproductiveness. In my life, it does not have a human root, does not have a spiritual root, does not have a satanic root. My father, my maker, show for the power right now and begin to locate our root and destroy Jehovah. Everything at the center of this unproductiveness in my business, everything at the center of this unproductiveness in my body, everything at the center of this unproductiveness in my career, everything at the center of this unproductiveness in my relationships, anything I told you over, anything that I shall on the condition, my father, my maker, arise this hour as the God to whom vengeance belongs to Jehovah, no case any enemy, no case any household enemy, no case any occultic man, no case any occultic woman, anybody from my past, anybody from my present, anybody from my childhood age that is behind all productiveness in any aspect of my life. My father, my maker, no care the right now and stroke the death. I refuse to live my life worse than that. I refuse to waste my days. So I need all of that. Walking like an elephant without any fruit to show for it. When the world has never declared that in all labor that is profit. I could have a sick and I can get it. Lord, from today, let's for that. Let all my labor begin to use me profit. Let all my labor begin to use me profit. Profit in ministry. Profit in career. Profit in business. Profit in every aspect of my life. Jesus Christ, give me profit for today, let's for that. Everything that is stopping my productivity. Everything that is causing me to labor like an elephant. And to be like an ant in business. A ministry in career. My career can do about as big as the ant in the ant. Lord Jehovah, show for the power and the strength from the roots. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Child of God, I want us to pray. You want to say, Father, you know, the Lord was speaking. He was speaking that there's a the scripture I want, to, I want to show you. Let me see if I can get that scripture. The Lord was speaking, you know, in that Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. Let me open that because you need to see it. If God Himself can decree in verses 24, the Bible said that Jesus, God Himself was decreed. He said something. He spoke uh, His word to, 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 to the earth. And He said that the earth bring forth the living creatures according to His kind. And the earth began to bring forth cattle. It began to bring forth crippling things. And the beast of earth, every one of them began to bring forth fruit. And in Genesis chapter 28, the Lord spoke to me and you. And he said, He has blessed us. He said, Be fruitful. You're going to speak that word upon every aspect of 
with your mind that you are not experiencing any fruit. If you are not experiencing fruit in your marriage, you can say it is written in Genesis chapter 1, verses 28. You know, by marriage, it is written clearly that you must be fruitful. Therefore, I command you standing upon this water. I command you my business. Call your business by name. If you don't have a business, then call your credit one right now. Call your business by name. Say you are free express. You will be of Esther Fellowship International. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, be fruitful. Oh yeah, multiply in the name of Jesus Christ. You are my business be fruitful.
trampled upon. Therefore, I release the sword of God upon every aspect of my life, upon every aspect of my life, upon my marriage, upon my ministry, upon my destiny. I decree the release of rain. I decree the release of rain. I decree the release of rain of everything I have lost.
should be fruitful. I take my fruit from every hand that is holding it. Jehovah God decreed that I should be fruitful. Every hand stopping my fruitfulness. And just so God cut it off. Any demonic agent sitting upon my fruit. Let fire of God catch that bomb. And the power of God that has said that will not be a fruit for me. You're a liar. The same way the word of God became flesh. In everything it was spoken. In the book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. I refuse my own word from not being fruitful in my life. Therefore, Father, I command and decree the manifestation of the fruit required for us and the reason of this your word in my life. Jehovah, let the fruit begin to show forth. Let the qualification attached to this word begin to show forth in my life. Let it be subdued to replenish me and complete this word. Begin to manifest in my ministry. Let it begin to manifest in the life of my mother. Let it manifest in the life of my children. And as you decree it, believe it, child of God, it's coming to pass in your life. It's coming to pass in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And as you do so, child of God, by this time next week, Saturday, you are returning back to this man with your testimony. And so shall it be. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. This is just the first day. I am here to make an introduction. Get ready from next week Friday to Father Prayer. This month and this Saturday meeting is all prayer all the way. I'm not here to preach. I'm not here to preach. I'm just laying a foundation for us today. Meet me on this mountain next week Friday. As uh, let's we start this sorry, as your father prayer. Anything that says you will not bear fruit in any aspect of your life, the Lord shall judge them. And you must surely bring forth fruit in accordance to the spoken word of God upon you in Genesis chapter 1, verses 28. In the name of Jesus Christ. Tell your friends, invite your friends to join us. Don't be stingy. Share the broadcast with somebody. Tell the person to come and pray. Align me to fruitfulness. Let the person come and pray her marriage into fruitfulness. Let the person come and pray her children into fruitfulness. Let the person come and pray her spouse into fruitfulness. Let the person come and pray her relationships into fruitfulness. And so shall it be for any of them that will join us on this mountain to pray regularly in the name of Jesus Christ. I love you all. I am still your sister, Apostle Amaka Sabalides. Do have a lovely and a wonderful weekend. Love you all. Don't forget, on every Sunday, I will post on our platform, Women of Excellence Ministry International on Facebook, I post for all the Corpus Challenge for each week. So if you are not following that post, please try and join us on this platform. I don't know if you are watching it, you are watching from YouTube. If you are watching from YouTube, please join us on our Facebook page. So that you will get some those quotes. And I also make different other posts within the week, different prayer posts. And so on and so forth, which is going to actually benefit your life. Also, join us every Monday. On Mondays, I am here on the hour of fire. We release fire according to the word of God in Psalm 11, verse 6. He said, Upon the wicked, you will raise spirits, you will raise fire. We release fire upon every wicked person. It's, it's, it's until your testimony manifests, you will not stop praying. The Bible says that we should pray without ceasing, and we are not giving up until your testimony show up. Join us on Mondays, Wednesdays, Saturdays. If you have a need of prayers on this mountain, we will pray. That's what I show you. He will show you pray. And then God bless you in your hand to support me in sponsoring this program in one way or the other. Please don't forget to send me a WhatsApp message to this number. Plus 234 81 That's the WhatsApp number you can use in which name. Please send me a message. If you also have a, a problem you want me to pray for you, about, also send me a message to that number. And I will be glad to pray with you. And God will honor you. He will answer you. And I give you a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. I love you all. Bye. Love you.